How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption and today we're doing something different. Now, typically I'd go over gameplay, but we're actually going to go over mechanics and we're going to do some math. So, uh, probably lost about half the viewers so far, but <laughs> anyways, we're going to go over the math. Math is not my strong point. So I have worked with Hedgehog Mattis here in 1937 to bounce ideas off him, have him correct me because he's much smarter than I am. I'm not a math guy. What I'm hoping with this video is to kind of explain how the iconic crystals work and what you should put them towards moving forward. Maybe you've already used them on things and it's probably not a terrible idea where you put them, but I'm gonna go over what I'm going to be doing moving forward, what I've already done, and we'll talk about the math behind it. So as you can see on the screen here, I've got this lovely green screen Word document that will just type out some quick math as we look at it to try and explain how it works and what benefit it has and where you should be putting the iconic crystal. So let's get through the intro and then we will dive into some lovely little math. And it's not super complicated, so honestly, don't, don't sweat it. Okay, this is gonna be a slow one for me as well because like I said, I'm not great at math. So we're gonna do this. Hopefully I don't have to edit the video too much, but we will do our best. Now, I think what the consensus is, and you don't have to watch the whole video if you don't want to, the consensus is to match the iconic crystals with your special unit. Because it has a higher base stats, those iconic crystals are going to work more for you and make your marches that much stronger than everybody else's who's not using the special units on the marches you're hitting. And we're gonna go over why that works and how the math works and what you should be doing. Now, I'm gonna go back into here for a second. For myself, as a T5 player who runs four infantry marches and two archer marches, France is a no-brainer. It's troop health to both my infantry and my archer marches. It's special unit for infantry and it has hospital healing speed plus 20%. If you saw my videos where I got like 900 million kill points in one KVK, that healing speed ups saved me a lot of universals because that is what I was diving into. So France for me is fantastic. Uh, I believe Rome is also very good for infantry. I'm jealous of the 5% uh, march speed, 5% defense. Again, I am getting the health with archers as well. So I think France is really good in that for cavalry i believe germany and arabia is the best and for archers i honestly think it's just the ottoman empire i don't know how you'd beat it if you're an archer player other than france for the hospital healing and the troop health because it's really universal you're getting the special units if you're running a lot of archer marches you get increased health by five percent troop march speed by five percent and active skill damage plus 5%. When you're talking YSG, Naboo, Gilgamesh, um, Edward, if you're still using him, uh, there's many others, but a lot of them have high skill damage. So Ottoman Empire would be fantastic for archers. I imagine you could use China. Probably isn't terrible, but does Britain have it? Yeah, Britain has it as well. Maybe good for early game with the troop training speed. But honestly, I think you're kind of Stuck with Ottoman for the time being. Maybe there's something else, but I honestly don't even know. That's not terrible hospital capacity, but when you're in KVK, you get a huge hospital anyways. But okay, France is my civilization. Obviously, that means for infantry, I have higher base stats. So we're going to jump on to my alternate account who is still in Germany. I haven't switched it over to France yet. I'm going to do that very soon before our next Ancient Runes, which I'll live stream. But as you can see right here, and we'll write this down, uh, I got to put it into the Word document here, and we're going to put this on, I better go back to home. So for Elite Throwing, and we're going to reduce the size of that Axeman, we've got uh, 221 Attack, we've got 212 Defense, and we've got 227 Health. Okay, I think everybody can see that. If not, I'll move it around there. I think you can see it now, but it's also right on your screen. So we're going to go jump over quickly, and I'm just going to compare it with my account in 2396. You guys, if you've watched the channel before, you've seen it many times. I do a lot of recording on this account. It's growing, 
it's still not great because I don't have expertise YSG, which really hurts in ancient runes, but it's still, it's not terrible. But okay, so this account has Germany as a civilization. I used to be a cavalry commander and the troop training speed of 5% and action point recovery was great for growth, but I'm going to switch it to France just because of how many speed ups I'm using right now and moving forward, of course. But let's go to infantry and I will show you T5 infantry has in comparison and hopefully you can see it right here so this is just royal guard they have 221 attack instead of 220 so it's just one point nothing big 212 defense which is the same and 227 health so you're getting 11 health difference between the civilizations which is going to be huge when we go back to my main account and i show you where my first uh conic crystals are going into which is accessories which gives you base health. It's really gonna help and we'll do the math from there. But let's just, now we've compared it. I'm not gonna send out my gatherers even though I'm itching to do so because I need a lot of resources on that account, but that's okay. We'll switch back over. I'm gonna be able to delete this soon enough. I might actually just make it smaller for the time being. Let's just make it really small in case I need to go back to it again. And we'll just start a new line item and I'll make it bigger again. Let's go back up to, I don't know, 36. Now let's go over a bit of the math. Now this took me a while to figure out and it's probably gonna take me a while to do it as well. And I'm actually gonna use my cheat sheet because I wrote it down earlier on a pen and paper because I'm old school, I'm 33. So um, school back in my day, we didn't have really computers to work from. So let's do it this way. I've got my fancy iPhone holder here. Okay, so let's do health obviously health based on what we just saw is the biggest difference between france and other civilizations that don't have special infantry units so the first stat we're going to write down is obviously uh base health is 227. okay that we know next we're going to go into here and look at something right here if we scroll down and everybody can see this this is in everybody's city Infantry health. So on my commanders, no matter their talents, no matter their gear, they're getting 59%. All right, so plus 59%, and that's gonna equal 360. I'm gonna do that again on a calculator just because I really messed it up. 227 times 1.59. So it's 360.93, but I believe I've seen in videos before where Lilith actually bumps it down they don't round up, they just round down. No matter how, how high you are, you could be like 360.99 and I'm pretty sure they go back down. Why, I don't know, whatever, it's their math, they do what they want. Okay, now 59% isn't what you're getting on top of your base stats. And what I mean by that is there's a bunch of variables, but I'll show you right here. Oh, of course not. Where is she? Oh, she's too far. We'll send back double C. How far is he? I think he's about the same distance. So we'll just fast forward. That, that's a fail on my part, but at least I can get some AOE here. Okay, Constance is back. Let's send out Guan and Leo. That is my number one infantry march. Always in first spot. This is going to die really quickly. Um, you know, let's just bring it down a little bit more because I do want to show another piece inside of the report just for people who do not know. But we'll just quickly kill this thing and in here it'll show you the actual stat buffs you're getting not your base stats it won't show you that but it'll show you the percentage on top of it now in your um your castle at your city hall you can tell it was 59 percent we already looked at that it's actually more than that because it doesn't take into account your commander's talents why would it it's not something that's applicable only to that march and it doesn't take into account your gear. So with my Guan, he's got a little bit of health. This is really the only health he has is the shield, which is 10.5%. These again are just base stats. So that's not gonna count. Everything else is either defense, attack, and that's it. There is no other health on this commander other than the shield. Okay, we'll bring that back and I'll show you the report here. So if I go under truth buffs, we've got 83.5 and we'll go right down here we're gonna go 83.5 percent 
from talents and gear. Talents and gear. Okay, so with that, that's what's going to be multiplied onto your base health. So it's not actually going to be 360 because of 59%. It's actually going to be, and it'll actually raise higher than this, 27, 227, where's times? Actually, I'll just do X times 1.835. And that's going to equal, what is it? I won't use the cheat sheet again. I'll just use the calculator times 1.835 equals, why does it seem wrong? No, that's right. Okay, I'll have to edit that a little bit. Unconfident in my math. So it'll be 416. So that is what I actually have in health. And I know that's complicated. It also shows you a little bit of that. Again, it's not taking into account the stats from talent tree like this right here, how it says 227 plus 113. That's just the 59% that you're getting from the stats like VIP, I think it said. It also said, where was it? Infantry health, civilization bonus, buildings give me 6%. I think that's from hospitals. Technology, everybody should have that by now. Holy sites give me 5% in VIP. So that's the 59%. The rest is coming from, and we'll see here, so 83.5, we'll go. So 83.5 minus 59, and we'll just look for these. So we know that we have 24.5% health from somewhere. It's coming from somewhere. Hopefully you can read that. Yeah, you can. I've got not enough screens on here, but too many things going on. We know the shield's giving us health. It's giving us 10.5. So we can remove 10.5, 10.5% from shield. I think I spelled shield, right? Yep. And then the rest, which should be 14.5, should be coming from our talents. Now, it is a little bit time consuming to find these but you're gonna have, let's work our way from the top to the bottom. Why not? We've got 1%, 3%, 4, 5%, 6%, 11 and we're looking for how much more? 11%, 14, we're looking for 14. 11%, I said that wrong the first time. 11, where else are we gonna be? 11, 12, 13, and we're looking for one more, 14. There it is. So 14% health coming from this, and that'll give us the 24.5. From shield, and we'll go, oh, and made a new page, gross. Plus 14%, whoop, talents. Okay, so there it is. That's where the number comes from. 83.5 is exactly correct. That's when you include talents and your equipment. What it doesn't include, and the math that you're not seeing, which I think is where Iconic Crystals kind of trick people, is you're not seeing the base stats here anywhere. Because, again, it's not showing you, unfortunately, in the battle report, it's not showing you in your civilization or in your castle under your, you know, your infantry barracks building. It's just not showing anywhere because it's only for this march. So I, I honestly, you know, we should triple check because I do not remember ever seeing troop buffs. It's not anywhere. Oh, there it is right here. Infantry base health, look at that. Well, holy smokes. Talk about eat your own words, but it still doesn't add it all up for you. So it's not showing you exactly how much percent health you have on this march for buffs. So let's do that anyways. But there you go, I honestly didn't see that before. That's cool. I'm glad that's there. Uh, we got 6% because we got two accessories going on. But let's go in. And there's also one more thing and why I wanted to, to cast its skill. Is that Leonidas is also providing... Where is it? Troop buffs under here. 30% health, which you're not going to see in these reports. You won't see it. You'll see it in the battle log. If you go to the second skill right here, you're going to see, probably on the next one, troop health plus 30%. So that should be under 12 13 and 14 and then it disappears because that's for three turns so you are getting more health from other sources but let's see what the base health is i'm going to remove the things that don't matter i'm going to remove that 
So right now we're at 416 without including the base stats from the iconic crystals. We know there's six or six stats. It's not percentage. It's just base health plus three on each of them. So it's plus six. So now that base health up here at the top, and I know it's hard to see, is 227. It's actually not. It's actually uh, plus iconic crystals six percent or six we'll just put six equals 330 or 233 health that's actually what we have so right there is now our base stats on our infantry commanders just for guan yu it's very confusing and i understand if i've already lost people but now we can take the actual numbers so that was the previous number we had and i'm just going to put that as i and we're going to go 233 times 1.835 equals, so what is it now? Somebody probably had his, has a calculator out already and is beating me to this. 1.835, which is 427. Now it is 427.555, but it's going to round down. So what are the iconic crystals getting you on this march right here? It's getting you an extra 11% health, I guess. That's what that would be. No, it's base health. So how does that work out? So this is where I get a little fuzzy with the math, and you're probably right along with me. Or you've already figured this out, and you're like, man, you're dumb. One or the other. Like, what would a rune get me? Let's compare this to a 10% rune. That's probably our best bet. 10% rune, a health rune, is very strong. If you see it near Guardians and you're fighting in KVK, 100% the first thing you go for is 10% troop health. If you're going for the attack, you're a little bit confused. Go for the health. So what is 10% increased health on base stats? Now that actually changes, and it should change with the Iconic Crystals based on the march. So this is actually helping your runes as well. I don't think by much, but let's see what, what it is without the Iconic Crystals. So that a 10% health rune on France is giving you 22 health points. Okay, now if it was with the Iconic Crystal, can I, I can't hit enter. How can I do that? Well, let's delete the Elite Throwing Axeman, and that's going to give me enough room. No, really? It's not going to give me enough room? That's pretty brutal. Let's dump this down to 32. There we go. That'll give me enough. Okay, so now if we went 233 times 10%, we're obviously going to get 23. 23 health points. I better mark that as health points. So a rune's giving you 23 health points. The iconic crystals are giving you 11. So it's like a 5% health rune then, right? Right? That equals... Uh, it's 11 health points increase plus 11 health points. We'll just go plus make it a little bit easier. But of course, we'll just go bam. Ha, I beat you word. Okay, so that's that's what that is. So a 10% rune. Obviously, we're talking about health, but we're just going to make it as clear as possible. Hopefully, everybody can see that I can move it around now. I'm pretty sure that's probably the best spot for it. So this is where it comes down to small, small increments of things where really even a health rune on your civilization is only giving you one more health point, but you're getting one more health point. And that is on the base stat. So that should not change with gear or anything because all the runes and stuff just go towards your base stats, but it's giving you one more. So just on the rune, it's giving you 11 health points which is about half, a 5% health rune, just from having two pieces. Now, again, you could have more than that. You can get six more health, and if you have it specialized, I didn't even do specialization, so we're not talking about rally or garrison leaders. I'm just talking about field fighting players like myself. If you're rallying garrison and you already have all of this, like, say, this gear, and we'll put, uh, I don't know, put this in here. Let's say all of this specialized. 
That's a lot of base stats and it's going to add up and it's going to give you that little bit of, of an advantage and honestly save a lot of troops and kill a lot more troops. So I honestly think, and I'm going to switch that back because I really like Guan with this gear. I think that's what I'm going for. I did, um, you know what, let's finish talking about this first. So that's the math. Am I right? Am I wrong? Leave a comment down below. Do you think... Well, I think it's definitely worth it to have your Iconic Crystals on commanders that have the same special unit. I don't think it's going to be as beneficial on someone like Naboo. The only difference and the reason I think it's still good for Naboo is because this is specialized. So I'm actually getting four health bonus. Yes, it's not towards the special unit that I have, but I still think that's very strong. And I, I don't think... Uh, I'd be foolish not to put it in my only specialized legendary gear because that's literally the only one I have. So it just makes sense for it to be there. The other one again is on Richard and I do have one on Ramses, and it's going to stay there for now because I think Ramses with the attack tree does need more rage and I think the health on Ramses isn't a terrible idea as well. But I do think that if you're looking at this moving forward you should really think about using your Iconic Crystals first on your civilization special troops your special unit i think that's the best bet moving forward and do your own math honestly do your own testing i'm just trying to give people the framework in order to be able to do this themselves to come up with their own conclusions i just know that a lot of people are like i don't want to do that math or it's too difficult if i can do the math on this then anybody can do the math on this because i am a very low math person i'm not good at math and i'll be the first to admit it wick we miss you um but that's it guys that is what the iconic crystal system is doing can i get to a better spot that's uh, it might be worth a screenshot if you're actually reading it and still tuned to this this video but that's it that is what it's getting you it's like a five percent training or five percent health rune when you have two of them if they're specialized if you have more obviously just going to be a little bit higher than the person you're fighting in open field. So I hope this makes sense. I am still going to keep doing it on Guan. I'm probably going to do the boots next for my iconic piece. I'm not going to do the pants. I'm going to wait until I craft Eternal Knights and then probably put it on there, especially because with Eternal Knights, I have so many blueprints for it that I can pretty much specialize it right away. It's going to cost me a lot of legendary um, material. But I could still do it really quickly. But that is my thought moving forward. Let me know what you think. Where do you think the Iconic Crystal should go? Is there a specific method you're using? Or is using it on your special unit actually a good idea? Because I think it is. I think you are only getting a little bit more. But I think that's what we're all trying for right now, right? Is just, just a little bit more than the person you're fighting. That's why we specialize, you know, the infantry helm. What's that going to get me? A couple more defense. What is it? Three more defense? So small increments. That's that's what we're shooting for. That's why people are refining legendary gear, which is just crazy. It's so expensive. But we're all looking for those small increases. And if, especially if you're a rally leader or garrison, man, make sure your uh, civilization matches your strongest rally or garrison leaders because it's that's what's going to make the difference. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. This is the first time I've done something like this with math on it because, again, I'm not strong in math. If you liked it, maybe I'll do some more once I start to understand it myself. I am slowly figuring out all the mechanics in this game. I pretty much just go out and fight, and um, now I'm starting to learn the inside out of what the mechanics do and how they work. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, have a good one, and see you later. Bye.